Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is your next 24 hours tarot reading session for you, Scorpio. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This is the next 24 hours tarot reading session for you guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Scorpio sign. Let us see what's coming towards you, Scorpio. What is the guided message for you in the next 24 hours? What can I get for Scorpio, please? What's the guided message for you in the next 24 hours? Okay. Um, if you would like to further connect with me, Scorpio, you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to further connect with me, check out the details of the check out the website. Uh, the details of the address of the website it's down in the description box below guys thank you so much for your donation it means a lot and let's see what's coming towards in the next 24 hours i will include astrology as well with this reading so let me just oh six of wands okay let's just let elephant hold that Let's look into astrology for you, Scorpio. Hmm. Um, looking into your chart, Scorpio. Um, okay, let me just open your chart. I feel like the next 24 hours, there is some sort, because six of ones is surfacing, so no more secrets, Scorpio. Um, there, like if you look at the six of ones, like someone is this, like maybe you had a misunderstanding or miscommunication with somebody. I feel like the next 24 hours, I'm kind of picking up that no more secrets. You can be assured that if things in the past few days or weeks, it might have been very challenging or confusing or you might feel like people aren't so direct to you. You know, like sometimes I struggle because I'm so intuitive that I can sense, I can really sense or smell that even my closest friends have a selfish intention, you know, like a selfish intention. So you, your radar, when it comes intuitively, your radar, your intuitive radar is so accurate in the last couple of days or weeks that you can feel that this person or situation is not authentic it is selfish and i believe you acted upon your intuition and you did you know um you did air your side of the story but you did i did you were not quiet if there was something that you didn't like in the past few days or weeks you you said it, okay? Now, things are a little bit shaky, you know? Um, yeah, and I feel like it's because Mars is no longer retrograde. That's why all of the hidden secret is going to come out. Yeah, I'm just looking at your chart. Yeah. So Mars will be out of the 10-week ret retrograde, and it will power forward through your intimate eighth house. Yes. Oh, wow. This is exciting time. So the intimate eighth house, this is your personal relationship, family, friends, lovers. So six of ones in the next 24 hours, no more secrets. A lot of blurry lines, a lot of confusing energy, confusing action, confusing words. It's now going to come out in the surface. But the thing is, I feel like intuitively, no more secrets. So you, you will have to deal with difficult feelings or I would say challenging situation, but at least it's all out in the op open, you know, because hangman, oh, look at that. So there was something that was hidden or blocked that you could not process it. It's, it's you know, the hangman, the six of cups, that, that this could be related to money or family, Scorpio, okay? So there might be some issues connected to family, uh, connected to lovers, connected to in a general collective reading. If there's some sort of unfinished business in the last 10 weeks, okay? I'm exactly doing this when Mars is out of retrograde. So um, in the last 10 weeks, 
there has been an issue with family, with someone in the past, with money, um, and you dealt with it, but you have no proof because for somehow you're confronting it or you're discussing it with this person or situation, but a lot of things are hidden. You know, it's more of we can't solve the problem if there are some details or some informations. They were hidden, hidden feelings, hidden. There's some stuff that's missing and hidden, and that's why you cannot solve the problem. Now, all of those hidden information, hidden energy, it's going to come out. Six of Wands, Hangman. So you're going to start with an ex coming out. An ex, a somewhat like loving lover, you know, it's yeah, Mars retrograde, whoo, whoo, finally. So for those people or energy that they're holding their they're holding their cards too close to them, you know, where you had a missed opportunity between um yeah, ten weeks ago at least, it will come back. This is a spin off Woof, boomerang. There is, oh, I'm downloading a lot. Sorry, Scorpio. <clears throat> I'm getting excited. One of the things I've learned is that someone told me that you got to really speak slowly, Scorpio. Me, <laughs> I'm, talking, I'm talking to myself. I'm downloading a lot. So now that Mars is going to be out of ret retrograde, there are some missed opportunities that wasn't solved, that wasn't understood. Because some informations, they were hidden. Six of Cups, there is an ex or someone you dated, romantic connection. They're going to say sorry. Six of Cups. Yeah. So they will tell you that they've been thinking about you. Uh, this person in the past, they've been thinking about you. But they've been hesitating to text you or call you or to reach out to you. But now they're... Taking really account of it. What they did was that, okay, I've been thinking about you. I've been, th I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking to reach out to you. I've been thinking of calling you, Scorpio. But then what will I say? And now they're full of courage to keep it clean and keep it simple and admit that it was their mistake and they want to say sorry. So like hidden, the hangman, the block is off, gone, lifted. Something's going to be lifted and you... <clears throat> Those hidden information, feelings, stuff that was a missed opportunity or I would say unfinished business, rise up. It will rise up. This, uh, I would say, yep, it's going to rise up. It's going to come to you. But there's also complication. So you've got a lot. It's, it's telling me to tell you, you have to have a lot of patience with this, this energy that I am picking up for you, Scorpio. And I feel like this is up until the end of this month that you would... Every, every almost every two days you get someone in the past not just lovers but past issues will resurface that you need to deal with okay you need to finish the business so one lover one from the ex one from the ex <laughs> one person from the past that would say sorry now ten of pentacles for some of you guys <laughs> ten of pentacles is something at work your work will start to pile up <laughs> if you feel like okay work is so quiet Work is so quiet, it will start to pick up. Ten of Pentacles, you will start to get a lot of work, but you will also start to get a lot of money, a lot of opportunities, a lot of unfinished project will start to, you'll start to pick up the phone process, creative project, everything's going to start soon, Scorpio. Ooh, I love it. So you need to gather your strength and your patience. You need to gather your thoughts, your you need to gather your focus, Scorpio, because it's a smash. It's a smashing opportunities and energies coming your way to deal with. The thing is, it's going to keep you busy. So you need to have a lot of commitment to deal with it one by one, moment by moment. It's going to be a busy time. But at least you will solve the problem. At, at least you will get an outcome. What I hate the most is the Eight of Swords. I hate this. You know, what I hate the most is that... You want to solve it, but you can't solve it because they're hidden information. Now, you are entering a cycle, Scorpio, where everything you touch, you have the ability to finish it, processing it. Okay? <clears throat> now, Eight of Swords, you're the one who's going to complain, <laughs> Scorpio. I feel like, Scorpio, you're going to complain. You're going to complain because sunshine, you're so right. I'm so busy. But you're going to get a lot of money. You know, things 
like back to normal. Like this is a week where finally we're saying goodbye to the 2022 and holidays blues. King of Pentacles, you need to allocate time and focus to unfinished project. To a lot of orders, money, there's going to be a lot of task. Okay. You know, for some of you, I'm kind of picking up. Oh, some of your colleagues at work, they're still on holiday, on vacation. So you can't do anything, eight of swords, because most of it are like out of office. Oh, you come next week because Mars is going to be out of retrograde. It's going to spin off busy. King of Pentacles, you're going, to you're going to allocate your time with work, productivity, money, money. And on top of that, there is an ex or someone in the past who is like, Hey, Scorpio, can I talk to you? Hey, Scorpio, can I talk to you? Hey, Scorpio, can I talk to you? There is a lot of energy fighting to get into you and wanting to talk to you, whether it's professionally, personally, but they want to be intimate with you. Like, this is one-on-one. -on -one. It's not like a group invitation. Can I have a catch-up with you, your boss, your best friend, your friend from there, this and that. For some of you guys, Nine of Cups, <clears throat> like long lost friends you know like i'm kind of picking up like friends who forgot to greet you merry christmas happy new year nine of cups here they are reconnecting with you it's gonna be a very busy time for you scorpio eight of wands i see you driving all the time i see you going home late in the next two weeks because invitation there's also a lot of things that's connected to your house that you need to fix your car i'm downloading a lot <laughs> Scorpio, Nine of Cups, there's something about, I am, I am, it's not tarot anymore, but I'm seeing image. This is a Wednesday night, okay? A Wednesday night, someone is going to invite you and like someone is going to invite you or see you and it's not the weekend and you might say no because, okay, it's not a, it's not a Friday or Saturday, you know, say yes. There is an invitation that's going to fall into like an off day. Like it's a very off day. Like it's a Wednesday. It's a midweek invitation. You know, it's like, oh, it's not, it's not a weekend. I wish it was a weekend because if I party, if, if the invitation was Saturday, if I party the next day, I don't have to work. Like this will fall into a weekend. Say yes to this Scorpio because it looks like you are going to meet interesting people, connection. You're going to be like an elite socialite for this Nine of Cups. Yeah, it's connected to work, networking. Yeah, you might say no. So I am forecasting that you might say no or predicting that you might say no. And I'm telling you right now, Scorpio, say yes. Say yes to an invitation that will come to you soon. It's off. Maybe it's a Tuesday night or a Wednesday night. Maybe a Monday night. But it's those days that, oh, I wish it was the weekend. Oh, no, sorry. Go for it. Social event probably or maybe a birthday. Three of Cups. Yeah, go for it, Scorpio. Something is telling me that you might get an odd day invitation. It could be a party. It could be like an impromptu gathering for somebody, for someone, a send-off. Go for it, Scorpio. Someone interesting, something interesting. You're gonna be reacquainted or connected with a lot of interesting people in there. You might gain you might gain connection regarding professional or maybe love. But there's a there's a very very good value in that meeting, in that between four to nine p.m. kind of event. Scorpio, please, Scorpio, go for it, Scorpio. See, temperance card. Whatever is going to happen it was divine timing there was something beautiful in that meeting it could be it could be like in the work function you will <clears throat> um in in the work function you will meet someone really very charming that you will be friends and fall in love could be but you would gain a relationship in there acquaintance a good contact um a bunch of good people in there and we're off actually it's not yet in the website but scorpio if you want to do a full reading a full year reading astrology and intuitive and psychic um email me you know we're selling it for only 20 dollars 23 20.23 us dollars a full year 
PDF reading. Uh, it will it will come out soon in uh, the website. So watch the space in the website. Subscribe in the website. So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys. I will connect with you soon. You have a great day.